You can see the obvious that Islam is superseding every other way of life. And in the Plain Truth magazine of some few months back, there were figures given of the progress or the growth of each and every religion on earth, each and every philosophy. And in that, you'll find the highest percentage of progress was given to Islam, something like 267 percent as against the Roman Catholics, as against the Hindus, as against the Jews, every system. So here is a prophecy that is, in, is being fulfilled all the time. I hope that answers your question. Thank you. I, simply, I simply want to say that I agree with everything both speakers have said, except for your second speaker on one issue. Uh, does he first of all agree with me that, that God created the universe as well as us? Do you believe that God created the universe as well? Yes, do you? Mr. Yes. Miller. Okay, if I understand your question, you're saying, do I believe that God created the universe as well as us? Yes, that's right. All living creatures on this planet as well. Yes, of course. They do. I, I don't know if you, it depends on how you mean create. Somebody told me a story the other day that said when he made man, he rolled up his sleeves and he made man. No, I don't believe that. No, no, no. But I will create. However it happened, he created. Yes. However it happens, yes. That's, uh, I, I'm willing to go along with that. Okay. Okay, however he created it. The, the fact is you agree that God created everything. Yeah. Now, you said it was not possible. Look, uh, I'm not, a, I'm not uh, talking for Christianity or anybody else. You said that um, Christ could not have been of virgin birth. No, I didn't say that. No, 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 I didn't say that. No, no, misunderstood. I didn't say that. No. Uh, okay. Be sure, you misunderstood me now. I didn't say that. No, no. No, no, no. What I said uh, was uh, people, when they use this argument, when they say, who was his father, and they say God was his father, I, I asked them, do you mean God took Mary as wife? I'm not denying that he had, I'm saying he had no father. That's physically possible. Some biologists will tell you you can, you can do it today. You can, you can make a child without a father. It, it, you take, uh, like they do with rabbit eggs, and they, what do they call it, diploid? You put the, if, you, if they touch each other, they will reproduce. But that's, uh, yes, it's that's, possible. That's, that's no problem. impregnation. I agree with that. Okay. But tell me, if God himself chose to send or chose to come to this planet, to the people whom he created in the form of a human being, why do you think that he should have limitations and that he should not be able to do that? No, I didn't say, uh, I didn't think he should be able to do that. What I'm pointing out to you was, uh, you have to clarify what you, you mean. If you say God became a human being, I still want to know what you mean. Do you mean he used to be God, but now he's a man, he's not God anymore, or do you mean something else and so on? That a person, it's not, it's too easy to say, uh, God took on the form of a human being. I want to finish it for me. Did he surrender some of his physical powers? And they'll usually tell you yes. And then I say, did he surrender his mental powers? And they'll have to think about that. I say, well, no, yes, maybe he did. I don't know. And so on. You have to clarify. What do you mean if you say God became a man? You have to really explain what you mean before I could possibly agree with you. What you are looking for now is scientific proof. No, no. I'm looking for an understanding of what someone means. It's, a, it's like me asking you, is it colder in the winter than it is in Alaska? And you're going to say, what are you talking about? In the winter than Alaska? And so you've got to clarify it. If you say, could God become a man? I'm saying, you explain to me what you mean, and I'll tell you whether I agree or not. The, you need a clear explanation of, do you mean he gave up everything godly and so there's no God anymore, he's become a man, but somehow he will become God again? Or do you mean he is a man and he's God, in which case I want to know, then is he mortal or immortal? You know, does he know everything or not and so on? All see? right, to answer your questions, I'll just assume that God became a man and remained God. Why was that not possible? Because if he created I said, the universe, why couldn't he do that? Because it is a logical mistake that people make when they say God can do anything. It's not true. God cannot do anything unless you believe he does stupid things. No, does he do foolish things? Does he do weak things? Does he do silly things? He is limited because he's God to doing godly things to start with. Now, if you tell me he is a man and he is God, I simply have a natural question I'm saying. Could they kill him or not? Is he mortal or immortal? God is immortal, man is mortal. Which was he if he's both and so on? To say, if he is a man, a man by definition has limitations. It's what makes him a man. He doesn't know everything. That's why he's a man. 
If God is a man, what is this being then? Does he know everything or only some things? If he knows only some things, he's a man. If he knows everything, he's God. You see, that's the problem. It's that you cannot combine the two, or so far no one's ever done it for my satisfaction. You combine are, the two. You are simply using human logic. Of on, course. On, is there a better on, kind of logic? Where do I find that it? was capable of creating the entire universe, you are now applying human logic. Okay. No. Is there another kind of logic? Where do I find it? Because if there's a better logic, you tell me where I can go find the textbook. I want to know about it. Well, if you say in the one breath that he created the universe as well as everything that lives on this planet, you have to accept that anything is possible. I just told you why God cannot do everything, because my God cannot do stupid things. So he has some limitations. He only does godly things. I'm sorry, sir, but okay. your definition of stupid Thank you, Mr. God's Miller. definition will not. Thank you, sir. The next question, please. <clears throat> I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will ask Mr. Miller a question. Um, first of all, how much were you paid to come down here? I think, Mr. Miller... Must have, no, no, you must have come in late. I explained that. No, no, you did explain that, but uh, I feel that uh, there's something fishy about it because you okay, let yourself well, down. As I told you, in this land... You said that nobody paid your fare. That's right, but that's right. Seems like uh, you're telling a lie. Okay, but you see... You're if, a liar. If your religion... In the name permits, of the Lord Jesus Christ. If your, religion, if your religion permits you to call a man a liar without proof, that's to your shame. My religion doesn't permit me to call a man a liar unless I bring the proof. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone who, who has a question to ask on the merits of the discussion, please pose your questions. You are excused, sir. The next person will now ask his question. I'm sorry, sir, you forfeited your right to ask a question. Will the next person please pose his question? Will you please remain silent, ladies and gentlemen? This is important. You, you will have an opportunity if there is time remaining. Will you please now allow the next person to ask the question? Is it a question on the merits of the discussion, or is it some defamatory statement which you intend to make? Yes. Please restrict yourself to the merits right. of the discussion. Fine. Yes. Go ahead okay. and ask your question. <clears throat> Mr. Miller, if I had to take an orange and in front of you peel this orange and slowly cut it into many pieces, and then I take this orange and I slowly eat this orange piece by piece, and eventually, when the orange has been eaten, and I ask you a question, Mr. Miller, how does that orange taste? What would you tell me? Go to the mic, please. Is that the entire question? That's right. Question. You tell me, if you eat an orange, yes. and then you ask me how did it taste? Yes. Yes. That's yeah. right. I can tell you how most oranges taste, but I have no idea how the one tasted that you ate. That's right. That's right, Mr. Miller. You haven't tasted Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. You, see, but you haven't experienced the power of the Holy Spirit. You haven't experienced the power of the Holy Spirit and the new birth in Jesus Christ. Fine. You now, cut you, me off. Are me. you finished with your question? Or do you want to give yet. another lecture? Because if you want to give a lecture, we'll come and hear you sometime. But you know, this was supposed to be a question period. The mic do you, ha you asked a question, I gave you an answer. Yeah, fine. You, I, uh, you asked a question, I gave you my answer. If you say you have experienced the power of Jesus Christ, God bless you. That is your business, you see? You see? That, that, is, that is your, that's right, that is your business. I understand. I'm not a child. I understand your point. I just said, if you have sampled this wonderful power and so on, that is your business. It's not something you can give me. God has to give it to me. Okay? So don't, don't tell me you're going you're gonna to save me somehow, because if God gave you this thing that's between you and God, be my guest. Thank you, Thank you sir. Next question. Greetings, brothers and sisters, in the lovely name of Jesus Christ this evening. Uh, when I seen the advert in the newspaper concerning our friend Mr. Didat and uh, Mr. Miller, I read about divinity being confirmed today in this auditorium as it were. Uh, sorry for being late, I've been busy at church services, but this is one thing that I would want to stress to M Mr. Miller, 
that he has come to point out to people out here the meaning of divinity. And what he has actually finished off with on the stage doesn't confirm anything as far as divinity is concerned to me. And what I would want to leave with him is this, only just one thing. If he cannot believe that God can be doing everything at the same time, if I can operate three different jobs at the very same time, I can kick, I can punch, I can smile. I am human. My God can do much more than that because he's divine. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. Do you have a question, sir? Sunak, one question to Mr. Dirat. When you die, where are you going? <laughs> Mr. Dida. Yes. Yes. Mike. By the grace of God, I believe that I will go in heaven. Inshallah. But now, is uh, the next questioner, please. Will you please take your seat, sir? The next person to the mic. Mr. Miller, for the benefit of most of the Christian people here, I'd like to ask you a simple question. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? Mr. Miller, I thought I made that clear by what I was summing up by. You see, names like Jew, the meaning is one who praises God, Jew. I'm a Jew, I praise God, but I'm not capital J-E-W means I'm an Israeli citizen or something, Jew in the meaning. Christian is not a Christ-given name. Jesus never said, call yourselves Christian. That was a nickname that was given years after his time. But if by Christian you mean one who follows Christ, I am a Christian. In the same way, Muslim is not a label that means you're an Arab or something. Muslim means one who submits his will to God. I'm a Muslim, I submit my will to God. If you want to say your salvation belongs according to some label, I'm sure you don't. You're more sensible than that, I'm sure. But if you say your label belongs to something, you fall into this trap, as the Quran says, do they say they have a contract with God? So that their salvation happened at this time, never mind they lived for 40 more years, their salvation happened at this time, whereas I believe you struggle till the day you die. Any day, any given day, someone can say, what's your standing if you were to die right now? Are you ready to meet God? Yeah, I know whether I am or not. But I can't say, and a week from Tuesday, I'm still saved. I don't know till a week from Tuesday because I'm struggling and fighting with it until that day. That is a large difference between kinds of people who grab labels or say, I have my salvation already, and other people who are not so quick with the labels and say, my salvation, I'm working on it. I'm going to work on it till the day I die. In other words, you are a Muslim. I'm happy to be a Muslim, yes. Happy to be a Muslim. Thank God. Thank you, yes. Mr. Mullen. Great answer. Yes, sir, your question. My question is this. When I'm asking a question, please don't put the mic off. Because this is what you did in the city hall. If you want to answer a question, you answer it full. So First, I want to tell you, praise the Lord. Before I start my question. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. What I want to ask you is this. It has been mentioned from the platform that are all are born Muslims. I want you to prove that I'm a born Muslim. No problem. No problem. If you can understand what I mean by Muslim, the demonstration is there. You could study it and there's more books on the subject than you could read. Now, do you want the answer or not? My wife can prove it to you. I am not a born Muslim. Do you want proof or not? You asked me for proof. Do you want proof or not? Do you want proof or not? You ask me for proof. Now, as soon as I open my mouth, you tell me I'm not. If you want proof, I'll give it to you if you be quiet. The proof is what you will find if you investigate what do people believe if no one comes and tells them what to believe. If you want to read the documentation of cases of people like the Kapauku tribe of Papua who never met civilized man till the 1920s, if you want to read the documentation of what did the aborigines of Australia believe before the white man came there and so on, if you want to read the documented belief, what did they believe before someone came and told them what to believe, you will find it is Islam in everything but name because they don't speak Arabic, they don't say Islam, their religion is the same. God is one, he has no sons, he's not subject to aging, and so on and so on and so on. The proof is there. 
Yeah. All right.